My name is Shamil Bastaki. I'm a senior at NYUAD majoring in literature and creative writing and social research and public policy. I'm involved with different activities on and off campus, um, one, of it, one of which includes the Louvre Abu Dhabi Student Ambassador Program, which is a two-year program in which uh, youth from all over the UAE are selected to uh, participate in and uh, engage in uh, active dialogue with the museum and the art scene in the UAE, uh, leading up to the museum's opening. I'm also a founding member of Untitled Chapters, which is a group of female Emirati writers. Um, being part of the Student Ambassador Program allowed me to um, expand my knowledge of art and art history, but also uh, delve into the realm of museums. In terms of the challenges that I face as an Emirati woman, they're honestly not as many as you would think. Um, I was lucky enough to have a lot of support from my family, from my country, from um, my friends to do what I love doing, to perform on stage, which can be seen as, um, you know, stigmatized sometimes. You know, when I go on stage, they're like, how do, you, how do your parents let you do this? And I'm like, my parents want me to do this, and my father's always telling me to speak louder, to be more confident. And I guess if I were to choose one challenge that I face, it is that to, to overcome people's pre-made assumptions about me because of who I am and um, how I look and how they think I think. One of my main drives for creating art was that it was the best way for me to express myself. My most effective means of communication was through painting, through drawing, through doodling even on my math book. It was the only way to get my, myself across. One of the main challenges I encountered throughout the past few years um, of my growth was overcoming my introversion, or not necessarily overcoming it, rather coming to embrace it and accept it as part of who I am, rather than um, change myself to fit into the extroversion of this world, right? This world demands for you to be an extrovert. It demands for you to, to put yourself out there in um, whatever shape or form and to constantly um, bear your soul, I guess. And uh, for a long time, I tried to pretend that I was someone I was not. You know, I tried to, um, I tried to be that confident, extroverted person and that exhausted me. And when I finally came to terms with the fact that that was not who I am, that I do need my own time, I do need time to recharge, I do need time for reflection, to think about things, to not necessarily talk to people 24-7. Um, that, I think, was the point when I realized that I can do great things and still be who I am. I created a summer activity program for Syrian refugees um, in uh, a community in Lebanon and we had different activities including art, English, music and uh, it was such a rewarding experience honestly and my siblings helped me out a lot and uh, it was so such a life-changing month of my life and I would say that that month was um, the proudest month of my life. If I could give a piece of advice to someone it would be don't let your doubts die. Don't be afraid to be skeptical and to question everything you took for granted. Keep being curious and keep asking.